everybody, it's Dane at Jonah Guitars, and uh, gonna do something a little different this time. I have an unboxing, first of all, which if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know I usually just make fun of unboxings. Uh, but I wanted you to see exactly what I see as I open this thing up. Um, and I'll tell you what it is in just a second. So it's obviously from Stu Mac, the seemingly the folks we all love to hate. Um, and, um, I didn't even use a new razor blade for this. And, <coughs> excuse me. Somewhere in there is the center of the box. There we go. So, This is a pedal kit. Uh oh, it already says what it is in there. Well, that that was sort of anticlimactic. So here we go. Take the little box out of the bigger box. Get rid of the big box. Um, do, 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 do. Doesn't have a price on this thing. These are normally. This is the Ghost Drive. And it doesn't even say what it is a clone of on the package, but it is a clone of the uh, Klon uh, Centaur. And uh, according to the advertisement that goes along with these things, those are selling for around seven thousand dollars now, five to seven, depending on where you find them, Reverb or uh, you know online somewhere. They're, they're used, of course. They haven't made them in quite some time, and there are some some other clone uh, clones out there for the uh, for the clone. Um, you know, it was on sale. It was I think it was regularly one twenty, maybe a little more than that, but it was ninety nine ninety nine. I thought, you know, hundred bucks. Um, never in in a million years of, I got to get a hold of one of the originals. So uh, I did listen to some videos that they had put together on how what they sounded like in contrast with each other, and they sound very, very similar, if not to my ear, they sounded pretty identical. Uh, who did the, I'm trying to remember who, who it was a famous person that did their, uh, their comparison. Anyway, I'm not sure, Fame, famous, YouTube famous, um, you know, like me. Um, so here, I'm just going to open the thing up and show you what's in here. I'm not going to start putting it together yet. I'm planning on doing a series of me putting this together. Uh, the problem is that it's so hard to watch somebody solder stuff. Uh, okay, so, and actually see what they're doing. Oh, let me pull that up a little bit. So that apparently is the, uh, oh, well, I'll say stickers, um, the vinyl stickers for the, uh, the top of the pedal board. I thought it was actually painted on the, on the box itself, on the, uh, case. Um, so you can see this is what it's supposed to look like when it's done. And I could have purchased a painted, painted kit or a non-painted kit. And I didn't want to paint it. So I thought I would just paint the, not the painted kit, but I thought that graphic was already on the, the kit itself. Uh, all right, so apparently everything you need is inside the case. It's packaged decently um, in the little bubble wrap thingy with foam. Um, okay, so there's a, the screw-on cover. All the holes and everything are already pre-drilled. Uh, yep, and there's holes on the back edge as well. So, um, before I open that up, let's just go. It's, uh, it shows you all of the different parts and things you might need. Um, I, I hesitated briefly over the add to cart button on this little board holder, but I thought, you know, one pedal does not make an assembly line and I don't necessarily have to have that $16 tool, although that's not a lot of money, but 
This is the first time I've ever soldered a PCB, so. Um, chances are doing it again are not right down the, you know, the street in my, in my future here. So you can see that it's just part list, you know, just part after part showing everything that comes in the kit. So, uh, some, whether or not on camera or off camera, when I get to doing the actually assemble, uh, assemble, assembly, um, I will, uh, maybe, you know, give you more information as we go. Uh, there again, this is the sort of thing that probably be, could be, could, could be really boring to watch. So I'm not sure. Give me some feedback here. Uh, this is mainly just going to be this unboxing just shows you different things that are, you know, in the assembly, uh, shows you, you know, step by step what to do, which is good because I can wire most guitar circuits without looking at the schematics any longer. But, uh, doing, um, doing something like this is way out of my league. Uh, all right. So let's just get here. Let's, let's just do that. I got this thing zoomed in as much as possible. I'm going to, uh, just take the stuff out of here and put it into here so nothing gets lost. So what do we got first of all? Well, we got a big package of stuff. We have uh, volume pots and uh, charging uh, adapters, uh, not charging, but uh, wall ward adapters. Um, and some wire and looks like some little sticky things in there to hold things where they want them in the case. So, um, an input, a couple input output jacks. Uh, this one would be a stereo. That would be the one that turns it on and off when you put the cable into it if you're running a battery. Uh, oh, and there is a battery right there, a 9-volt battery connector right there. I never use those. Um, I had actually already pushed the order button on this thing, and then I thought, oh no, I hope it's not battery only, because I, when I put things on my pedal board, I, I hook them up to power supply, but this has definitely got a power supply uh, available to it. They don't give you the power supply with it, but I think it'll run off of my, my one I'm already running all my other pedals off of on my board. So then we've got packages of capacitors, and resistors and things I don't even know what they're called yet. Little cube thingies. They might also be capacitors or resistors, just different shapes. I don't know what they're called. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure how well you can see any of that. Anyway, if uh, in case I said it too fast earlier, if uh, if you think you might be interested in seeing me actually build this thing, be sure to speak up in the comments because. Uh, I just edited a video a couple days ago. I spent a couple hours working on it, and I wasn't done editing it yet. It was getting to be, you know, 20 minute range, and I just thought, screw it. It's boring me. Why should I? I'm not going to put this out there for anybody else to get bored with. So, and it would have been a good video. It was uh, actually I was swapping out pickups on a uh, an Epiphone uh, SG copy. And we put a set of uh, Revelation, uh, EMG Revelations in it that came with the whole solderless system. But you couldn't see anything. I was working in a little hole like this, you know, over here on the corner of the guitar. Uh, I was in the frame, but you just can't see in there. So it was like, man, well, that was kind of a dud. Uh, I got some ceramic capacitors in here, some more resistors, some more little blocks uh, of light. LED light here, at least one. Uh, that's going to be an indicator. Then we have the uh, screws for the back cover. And then we have the actual PCB board. Uh, or actually, that's a uh, redundancy uh, PC board. Um, anyway, and there that is. And so uh, I'm going to spend the uh, afternoon, the rest of the afternoon, um, just kind of thumbing through the, uh, the the directions, the little booklet that I already showed you, and uh, I'm betting that's the the button. So anyway, these all get put on here somewhere. 
I thought they were, uh, I thought they were, I can't think of the word. Why can I not think of that word? Silk screen. I thought there was a silk screen. I thought they were already printed on the, on the box when I bought the painted box. I didn't realize they were. So that's something that can peel off later. Anyway, all right. Um, so that's it. Um, once again, I'll reiterate, if you, uh, um, if you'd like to see this get put together, uh, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll just get it put together and then I'll do a demo at some point of what it sounds like. I don't have a real clon to demo it against, however. So there you go. Um, all right. Take care. Thanks for watching. This didn't take too long. Good. We'll see you next time.